What's up guys, your main man P here, and today we're doing a new episode of Husky Chat. That's right. Alright, so I officially owned my Siberian Husky for about, oh, I would say about a year and a half now. Sorry for the noise in the background. Monster Fest is on, and uh, yeah, we got a little Friday the 13th action in the man cave. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Siberian Husky Icy, and she's a little heathen. All she wants to do is eat peanut butter and play all day, right? What's your favorite food in the whole wide world? Peanut butter. <laughs> but you can't have any. Because you're a bad girl. <laughs> yeah, so she's um she's about a year and a half old. And I just want to talk to you guys a little Oh my dear lord. <laughs> Yo, Jason is one ugly player hater. <laughs> I haven't watched a Friday the 13th in years. And I figured since it's Halloween. And it's on TV, I would watch the marathon. <laughs> oh, dude, classic stuff. But, um... <laughs> this dog just tried jumping over the couch like an idiot and falls on her ass. Excuse my language. So, yeah, this is Icy, my Siberian Husky. She's about a year and a half old. And the one thing I will say to anyone considering buying a Husky, I just want you to know that it's true, they shed a lot, but with any negative that you get with this dog, they're high energy and they're shedding, which in my opinion are their only negatives. There are so many positives, guys, and in my opinion I think their high energy is actually a positive because it gets you more excited about life. It gets you going outside more and, you know, ultimately, no bye, don't shoot bye. Ultimately, you're going to get more, you know, you're going to get in better shape. You're going to go out and you're going to walk her, him or her. You're going to take them for runs and you're going to go play with them all the time. And it's just, it gets you in shape as well. But sometimes their energy can get a little crazy. So that's why I got them a lot of toys. Or I got her a lot of toys. Which is my number one advice for anyone looking to get a husky. Make sure you load up on the toys, okay? Uh, especially the ones that are indestructible, like the indestructible chew toys, because they will tear anything up so fast. I'm serious, this dog has chewed up entire shoes and digested them somehow. So, you know, when she was a baby that is, as she's grown up, I've managed to discipline her quite a bit. <laughs> I've managed to, you know, discipline her quite a bit. And she knows right from wrong. She knows what to not chew. Like, for example, right now she's about to chew the blanket. And you don't chew that blanket. No chew. You leave it alone. Get off that blanket. All right, good girl. Go get your toy. You don't chew the blanket. You get your toy. Right? No, good girl. No bye. <laughs> Such a smart dog, though. Watch this. Come. Sit. Right here. Sit. It's a good girl. You see that? She's a good girl. I'm gonna lay down up here. On the couch, there you go. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, uh, they do shed quite a bit, but you know, just get a vacuum. Vacuum often. Yeah, so just get one of those vacuums that you can pretty much um, utilize, not just on the floor, but on surfaces of objects, like for example, your couch, your bed, um, you know, accessories, your desk, stuff like that. Just one of those handheld vacuums so that you can vacuum everything. You're gonna wanna also dust a lot because her hair will, well their hair will get everywhere as men. These Huskies really do shed hardcore. That's the only hardship I've had to deal with so far. But honestly, it's not really a hardship for me. I don't mind because I'm a clean freak and um, yeah, she's worth every second. So, as you can see, I got a blanket on the couch just for her so that she doesn't get hair all over the couch. But, <laughs> he's a good girl. He's a good girl. I love the black on her back. See this, guys? 
She's very wild and primal looking, especially when she's outdoors and she's playing. She's even got orange around her ears. Don't bite! Right, whenever she says sorry, she puts her paw up and lays down. <laughs> yeah, she's a great dog. But Huskies are the most loving, loyal, obsessive dogs. That's one thing I will say about them. If you're looking for an animal that is extremely clingy, these are the dogs. This dog follows me everywhere, and they will always establish one master. The master of the house they will follow to the ends of the earth. This dog will follow me into a volcano. I'm not even fucking kidding. She sleeps by me. She, when I'm brushing my teeth, she has her head in between my legs while I'm standing. She'll follow me into the bathroom. She'll lay right next to the shower. Sometimes it's a little much. She's that obsessive. They really, truly rely on the master of the pack or the leader of the pack. They're just very loving, obsessive dogs. And I've noticed with them, you gotta have a stern side, but you gotta have a playful side. Okay, because sometimes they get a little too playful when you're jolly, so you gotta tone it down, get a little stern so they'll calm down. But if you're one of those people that are just happy-go-lucky all the time, these dogs are gonna run your life. All right, you gotta have a little bit of a stern side. You gotta have that, uh, you gotta utilize some discipline on occasion with these dogs, truly. All right, if you don't discipline them straight up, they're gonna run your life. Come, turn your blankie, right here. Good girl. Yo, good girl. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, in my opinion, I don't really find there to be a negative except the shedding. Prepare to clean if you're thinking about buying one. Uh, make sure you take them out to play every day. I usually take her for a walk, you know, at least a mile and a half every day. She loves to play fetch. You know, she loves tennis balls. You just throw them for an hour straight. She'll just go get them. I take her for sprints, uh, bear crawls, outdoor workouts. Just try to involve her in your life as much as possible because that's all they want to do. They just want to be inv involved. And that one thing I will say about a husky is you can crate train these dogs. In fact, I highly suggest you do so. In fact, this dog has only had one potty mistake ever when she was a baby and it was within the first two weeks she came home. She had one potty mistake and then she never had that mistake again. She never ever peed in the house or anywhere again. She always, always, always goes outside. But I would honestly say that crate training is very important in that animals in general, dogs, they don't like to go to the bathroom where they sleep. So what you do is crate train a husky, put her food bowl right in front of the door, feed them right in front of their crate so they're never gonna go to the bathroom and anywhere's near their crate because they don't, when they get older, they don't wanna go to the bathroom anywhere's near where they eat or sleep. So, whenever you're gone for hours on end, she's gonna learn how to hold it in. You know, she's not gonna go to the bathroom in her crate. And then when you take her out, she'll uh, she'll take care of business outside. I think crate training is honestly the best option for a husky. It's worked for me so well, you know, and um, the hardest part is getting her to get comfortable in that crate. Once she gets comfortable, it becomes her little den and then they wanna go in it constantly. They love it. You know, it just takes a few weeks you gotta ignore her when she's barking at night. For the first few weeks, they're gonna bark in the crate. That's just the way it is, but just ignore her. You know what I mean? Put lots of toys in there. And whatever I do is, um, in the beginning when I was crate training her, I would give her a little bit of peanut butter. <laughs> That's why she always reacts to that word. I'd give her some peanut butter <laughs> whenever I left the house and put her in the crate. And I'd put the peanut butter in a Kong, this little toy. And that would pretty much keep her busy for 30 minutes. You know, by the time I left, she'd be completely alone. She wouldn't smell me anymore in the house and she wouldn't start barking. So she's actually looking for her con right now because I said that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. I'll answer anything you need to know. I've owned this Husky for a year and a half. She's literally been crate trained right next to my bed. We spend every second together. This is my best friend in the world. When I'm not home, she's in the crate. When I'm home, she's with me. That's the way it is. This dog is always with me at all times. I see the Husky. If you're thinking about getting one, I highly suggest you do so. But no, it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy. These dogs need a lot of energy, or sorry, a lot of training because they have a lot of energy. Uh, if you're very stern, they will not destroy your shit. I'm being, I'm being very deliberate when I say that. Be stern. Don't be afraid to discipline. These dogs require that. They're used to a pack. They're used to a hierarchy. They need that alpha in the group. You can still be their friend, but you have to be their alpha as well. All right, these are one of the most 
loving, easygoing, free dogs. If you're looking for a watchdog, this ain't is this is not the dog for you. These dogs will befriend anyone, anywhere, anytime. You can be uh, a murderer coming into the house, and this dog will be your best fucking friend. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Uh -huh. <gasps> be quiet. Be quiet. Y'all go go. No. No play. No play. Want that butt scratch, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna keep this video short. Shoot me your questions. I'll answer anything you need to know. And like I said, if you want to, whoa! If you need to learn how to train your dog, let me know. If you need to, to, <laughs> you need to learn how to uh, teach your dog not to go to the bathroom in the house, proper potty training, let me know. I got all the answers. Like I said, my dog wouldn't dare go to the bathroom in the house. She goes in that crate. She shuts up. She's only high energy because she's showing off for the camera. Are you showing off for the camera? You be a good girl. No bye. All right. And on that cue, see you later, guys. Say bye, Icy. Say goodbye, you little glutton. No? How about peanut butter? Peanut butter? This dog will do anything for peanut butter. Alright guys, later. Go pick up a husky. They're amazing. But um, like I said, if you're going to do so, be prepared. Work them out. Be stern. You know what I'm saying? And um, it'll be the best dog you ever owned. And just don't be one of those people that are so like me, 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 me all the time. A lot of problems is people get a husky and they can't handle the att Hey, be quiet now. No more. No! Be quiet. See how she got quiet and her ears went back? Like I said, you gotta be a little stern with them once in a while. But as I was saying earlier, a lot of people, they buy huskies and they want these protective dogs because they look primal. They think that these dogs are really protective. When in reality, they're not. They're just really loving. They want to be involved and have fun and play. They're not super protective, loyal dogs that are only going to be loyal just to you. They want to be involved with people. They want to have friends. They want to meet people. They want to do things. So if you have company over and your husky is completely ignoring you and just wants to hang out with the new people, it's just because they're new people and they want to be involved. Don't take it personal. You know, a lot of people take that personal when they get these kind of dogs. They feel like, oh, the husky doesn't like me anymore. No, these dogs just love people. They want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a kid. When you're a young kid and you have your friends over for a sleepover, you're stoked out of your mind and you don't give a crap about your parents. You know what I'm saying? But when you're, obviously when your friends leave, your parents are always going to be there. So just keep that in mind, guys. But um, anyway, see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Husky chat, send your questions, I'll answer all of them.